or venue, something that just sticks out in your mind, and you just, I love this place. Okay, so that is a multi-part question, but like, I really <laughs> love being in Tampa. I love performing throughout Tampa Bay, throughout Florida. It's really dope here. Nice. Um, and I always represent for the home team, no matter where I'm at. Um, I love DJing back in New York City because that's where I'm from originally. I'm born and raised in the Bronx, and so like I just know what works at home. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I feel very comfortable at home, I, and you know I sound like a New York DJ. I play like a New York DJ, and so that's that's definitely one of the the top spots. Um, I would say um, in terms of standout opportunities man uh <laughs> this is gonna sound so i mean like i said earlier i've done a lot of different venues but yeah. one of the the, the best <laughs> parties that i've ever thrown believe it or not was alongside it was a high school prom believe it or not <laughs> like it sounds crazy it was a high school prom i was djing alongside dj sandman and we were killing it. I'm talking about, like, you ever see, like, the old house party movies? Yeah. yeah. Where they, like, are fully in, like, it's so yep. everybody's, everybody's yeah. dancing. The whole room is moving. You got people doing, like, organized, With, like, everybody knows the dance. Everybody gets yep. in a circle. Oh, and they my all God. Just, yeah. I felt like, no joke, I felt like I was the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those like, moments. We are killing it in. That's because the kids appreciate it. Yeah, yeah they, pay, they yeah. pay to get in. Exactly. They're they just there. They there to hear some music, have some fun. All yep. of a sudden, the music starts dropping. They get to the little bopping. And they got that energy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Man. And and it's funny because you know one of the best sounds a DJ can ever hear. If you ever be at a party and a song drop and everybody goes, oh! Yeah. 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 I guess, yeah. Like I said, I think we did that here a couple yeah. times. Yeah. 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 That's one of the best feelings to a DJ in yeah. the world. Because you know you yeah. got control of the whole room right now. For real. Because like I said, man, when that Pharaoh Mont Simon says, dun, 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 I was like, ah! <laughs> Bro, that was that was my moment. <laughs> that was Yo, my these moment. These are the breaks. That, oh, 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 I was on the side blow. I was having side having a cigarette when that shit came out. I was like, ah! Oh! <laughs> I was like, this is awesome. Dope. Yeah. So I got a question. All right. Um. So, like, if you could, like, DJ for like a celebrity currently, like right now, mm. like any specific celebrity that you could like just host a party for. Yeah. Like who would it be? And, and so I missed that that opportunity. Oh, um, I missed that opportunity, but I, I do. I, I wish that it had gone down the way that I had hoped. Uh-huh. So I'm going to give you the wish, and then I'm going to give you the <laughs> the, the, actual, <laughs> the reality of where you know, like future will go. Okay, so the wish was um, when President Barack Obama was in the White House, he was throwing parties and he was having. Uh, what I would call the black elite, like, and hip hop heavyweights yeah. kicking it at the yeah. White House having parties. Yeah. You understand? We're seeing a lot of those pictures. Man, I wanted to, if you would have booked me, I promise you, I would have blow the roof off the White House with these dismissals <laughs> already. <laughs> I was like, I just want to rock for Barack and Michelle, man. Yeah. Like, because I that would have been an epic opportunity to yeah. be there just and with work. some of those, the, the heavyweights throughout. Yeah. In just music, television. What's the historical everything. impact yeah, of that? Yeah. Like, this is the first yeah. black president that would have been super DJ major. Yo, super that's, major. Uh, no, how many people can say that? Right? So okay. I would have loved to. That was the wish, right? But he out of office now. We dealing with something else. So, <laughs> so <laughs> something is exactly Fox Nest Friday. Perfect. Eight o'clock <laughs> description. But but the but the dream, believe it or not. So I have this very. I play. I. Primarily do hip hop, R and B, and reggae, right. mm-hmm. but I play every genre of music, literally everything. And so, um, there is a festival called Tomorrowland. Oh, ah, yeah, that I would like to perform at. I've been saying this now for several years. I believe it's going to be a part of my reality. Um, when I'm talking about Tomorrowland, if you ever get a chance, look it up on YouTube. Yeah. The Tomorrowland movies, they mm. do it like an after movie after the festival. It really is dedicated to EDM fest. It's an EDM mm. DJ festival. Nice. But I'm talking about pyrotechnics, uh, the smoke, the, the lasers. Uh, lasers. Oh, Bruh, oh, man. They, they are doing it so epically big 
like that's that's the dream. I would love to be center stage, prime time, killing it at Tomorrowland, yeah. or something along like that. For a hip hop spot, would be close to like uh, Coachella. Nice, you know. No, if like you that. if you get that the the Tomorrowland though, can you do me a favor? Yes. Can you, can you at least drop Mortal Kombat for him? Just I feel like if you like drop Mortal Kombat from the middle. Mortal Kombat. Oh, I feel like man. you got that somewhere in your set. You gonna get that. Oh, you get that. Oh! I feel like you gonna get that. I that would be dope. You, ba, ba, I feel ba, like ba, that will happen. Ba, ba. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I believe it. I believe that. Just a mosh pit might out. happen following yeah. that yeah. as well. But you know, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of bumping and elbowing. There's a lot of bumping and elbowing. <laughs> yeah. But you know, yeah, that's one hilarious. of the beautiful things. Actually, I, one of the things I can't really get through my head about Tomorrowland is you talking about. It looks like at least fifty to a hundred thousand people in a big yeah field, in just one crowd in one crowd, and I'm like, how do you manage that? Like, if those two get into a fight way in the middle of that crowd, y'all just got to fight it out. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. right. Exactly. We gonna make it out of there. Well, bro. I think, they, honestly, it's the people probably break it up. I guess you got to. Once but, you get tired, of it get tired peaceful. of getting elbowed, right? It oh, looks yeah. super peaceful. It oh, looks yeah. like they be having yeah. a great time. So, well, just uh, keep us in mind when when you do get on Tomorrowland, we will be your official press team. Dope. We could come oh, out. Yeah. We Dope. do press. I can't do the show at any location. Mobile. Or Take mobile. it around the world. So we will go you, with you. I believe. Let me tell you what I believe. Y'all will probably be already there. It'll. I won't. You won't have to come with me. Like the fact that you putting in work. Means that you are headed somewhere. You are making forward progress every day. Yeah. And even let me just tell you, never frown on small beginnings, bro. Oh, like no, actually, small, you start small. Remember, a, a oak tree starts as an acorn. Yep. You got to keep doing it, and next thing you know, you the celeb, you the big dogs, y'all yep. are already there on the st- on the scene. So keep putting in work. That's it. I'm down for that. I got a question yeah, for real. Now. Me, 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 me. It's yeah. your turn. Okay, so earlier you alluded to the fact that you had some of the biggest hip hop legends yeah. in history influence you, but now you're at that point. Has anybody come to you and say, hey, thank you for influencing me? Or, you know. Have, have you inspired anybody? Have you inspired you know, anybody? You know where I get that a lot is on social media. Um, believe it or not, like I get a lot. I've, I've had people come up and shake my hand, want to take pictures, you know, and I'm still at a stage in my, my what I, I guess you would call celebrity, right? I'm still at a stage where celebrity is awkward for me because I'm just me. I'm just yeah, yeah. like, I'm real regular, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so when people come up to me and be like, yo, <laughs> you're, you're, oh, shoot, I got your, like, it strikes me strange. Yeah. I'll be like, okay, that's cool. dope and awkward and thanks. You know Um I once had a, a sister, she we were at the club and a friend of mine was there and he says, Oh, let me introduce you. She said, Oh, I know who he is. That's DJ I am. Right? And so I was like, Oh, you See? know me? She was <laughs> like exactly. what? Look, she says know you. She was like, I you're the only DJ I listen to. Look and pulls out her phone and goes through my whole life. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's dope. It's, yeah, it was really a dope, cool. a dope moment. Um, so since I mentioned my mixtapes, I'll go ahead and mention. I have, I think, 120 mixtapes on Mixcloud.com. So Mix if you go to Mixcloud.com forward slash The Blend King, you can listen to podcasts, mixtapes, all of that. Nice. Cool. So, but to answer your question about the social media part, right? Um, so. Not only on my personal my personal page, but I also have a blog page called Good Morning Hip Hop, um, and I deliberately post stories speaking to the African American and the hip hop community. Um, very deliberately posting only positive stories because I feel like um, World Star, CNN, oh yeah, Fox News. They got the market cornered mm. on making negative. us look like shit. Look like the worst scourge of the earth. They talk about everything negative about us. Yep. And they try to uh, make us less than what we are, which is excellence. We are absolute, the epitome of excellence. And I, I have a hashtag that you can follow that says, excellence is the way of us. And so this is what I'm about. I post nothing but positive and uplifting stories oh, yeah. around people who uh, would otherwise be in the hip-hop community. You may be a doctor now. You may be a PhD now. You may be doing uh, big things like Roland Martin now. But Roland listens to hip-hop. 
right? He's part of the hip hop community. He's mm-hmm. a hip hop head, guaranteed, right? Um, or you got all of these young kids that want to see, like I was talking about earlier, just multiple lanes. And so you, if you want to go and see fights and you want to call women out their name and you want to disrespect people, World Star is for you. Go exactly. find it. World Star is your yeah, World Star is You your can home. find it all right there. Well, the but, crazy part is, is that they attach hip hop to it. Right. That yeah. is crazy. That's the that's the worst part because all the stuff that you see loving hip hop the show, nothing but ignorance. Right. You got that, World Star hip hop. Nothing about hip hop other than the exactly. fact exactly. that you may have one you rapper have, on the show. Exactly. You got one a producer. rap you got a rapper or producer who made one or two hits. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they get that little name recognition and you're like, all right, cool. And then and usually they're not even the ones who are the, the ones who are actually doing you know what I'm saying doing the doing I don't want to say the bad things but doing pr- putting us back they're yeah. not the ones it's usually the ones who are around them that's yeah, right exactly. you know what I'm saying because exactly. you could this this rapper here like Saig- Saigon man I used to listen to Saigon Saigon's dope Saigon if you actually listen to Saigon says a lot of political shit oh yes yeah. he does and the thing is is when he was on love because I think he was on love and hip hop he's either on love and hip hop or real hip real housewives or one of those mm-hmm. one of those shows okay and the thing is is that his whole I don't know if it was his wife or if it was just the other people around him it would just be in straight ignorant some people, you know, you can't bring everybody with you. Yeah. First of all. Second of all, some people are negative. Get any negativity out of your cipher, right? Yeah. Third, if you want to hear dope MCs like a Saigon, I also like Side of Prince. Yeah. I also like, you know, Joey Badass. Immortal like, Technique. Immortal Technique. I'm talking about this. So many that are dope MCs. I'm not talking about, you know, we always name the, the same three as conscious MCs like Talib, but although he's dope, there's a lot of oh, yeah, other yeah. dope MCs that are bringing good quality hip hop music. Lecrae, I'm talking about people who want to uplift the culture, uplift the people. You understand? And so, um, that's what I try to play first and foremost, mm-hmm. right? Smoke Dizz is another one. Um, and shit, Dynasty. Let's talk local. There's a lot of people bringing uh, po- Gino Lexus. Gino, yeah. yeah right? Gino Lexus, Lexus, bringing oh, positive yeah. energy. Jinx. Uplifting people right here. Jinx, for sure. Right? Like, they... Um, I think that's a... Um, there is a space for the booty clap, for the stripper, for, yeah. the, for the trap boy. But don't make it everything. Right? Yeah. And so, the people, um, believe it or not... I get a wide range of people on social media who will just randomly be like, thank you. Thank you so much. You have not only inspired me, but the things you share, you've enlightened me. Like, I didn't know. I wasn't hip to this. I wasn't aware that this was a truth or that we were, this was available because if you're getting fed the bullshit that's on TV, the love and hip hops, whatever, yeah. you think that's all there is. Exactly. Right? Especially if you're young. And, exactly. and if, when, yeah. if, if all you do is watch TV and listen to the radio, that's all you get. And, you know, that's not the only thing that's out there. And so, um, by y'all having me on, you give me a, another opportunity to be seen by an audience who otherwise may not know that I even do this, right? Exactly. And so, um, so again, I just want to say thank you, thank y'all, man. Yeah. All right. So with that, I just got a question just popped into my head. So, out of everybody who's thanked, everybody who's thanked you, who would you say is the one who you were like, whoa? <laughs> like that shocked you for a second. I you just, were like, wow, you, I didn't. You just I would have never thought I inspired that person. Um. That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, um, I would have to think about that one. But I will tell you what does shock me. Mm-hmm. And st- <laughs> like, okay, so I went to high school with Big Tigger, right? Yeah. Nice. Uh, and, the ex- <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, whenever people who have reached his level, yeah, right? Like, yeah, I played him in Fight Night. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you reach that level of success in this industry, music, entertainment, yeah. entertainment, right? And you still holler at me or you still be like, yo, that was dope. Or, um, you know, even like something of mine. It, I'd be like, oh, shit. So, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it blows me still, right? Like, so I, I was just blown away this week. Not, I'm talking about like Tuesday. I was... <laughs> scrolling through and david banner 
Um, uh, we had him at a A3C a couple years back. Yo, <laughs> yeah, like David Banner. <laughs> I, like, not only do I like his music, but I love where he's at consciously yeah, now. Exactly. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And so, um, tell me, you heard he the, think you heard the he God Box, me, right? I was like, oh, God Box is greatness. Yeah. You understand?